What's up everybody? So I know a lot of people are mounting Max 5s and Max 6s in their X-Max vehicles. And most of the time you're gonna see those mounted on top of the uh, the chassis brace, which is gonna mount your, your ESC up high. It doesn't look very good. And honestly, they're held together with zip ties. And you can find good ones, sure, but most of them are printed cheaply. And who knows, if that ESC gets hot, it could melt them, stuff like that. And I'm not going to put my expensive uh, ESC A on a you know cheap mount um, that's, that is going to be just zip tied to the, the chassis brace. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so, of course, WFO has got a solution, and it's high quality, just like everything else they make. You know, if you've seen, you know, they're kind of the go-to for your Mod 1.5 gears, uh, your X-Max motor mounts for your big 800, 1100 kV motors, um, and everything like that. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. Now, to mount the Max 6 in your, in your X-Max, you don't necessarily need anything, but this is going to make it look better because the problem is, so I've got this old X-Max chassis right here. So, one of the deals is you can mount a Max 6 right here but you're gonna have to glue it down. You're not gonna be able to bolt it down. And if you glue it or use 3M tape, the tape could come loose if you silicone it down. Well, the problem is, if you ever have to take it out for any reason, you could damage it. It basically becomes a semi-permanent install. Um, so this is gonna be your solution. Now, obviously here's your where your wires come in for your receiver box, and there's your old receiver box. So what do we have here from WFO? We have their modified receiver box. We'll take a look at that in a second. And we've got our uh, ESC plate. Comes with all the hardware. I've got it over here. And I also have their switch mount that's actually going to mount up on top of the uh, the tower-to-tower -tower brace. It's going to mount your switch for your Max, uh, your Max 5, your Max 6. This thing is really nice. Beautiful 3D printing. Got their logo uh, in it. This is just a very high-quality item. Um, you can just tell very, very quality, um, you know, manufacturing on this. So let's take a look at the ESC plate first. Now, very, very light. It's not heavy. I chose the uh, the raw metal look. You can get these anodized in a bunch of different colors. It's going to have your mounting holes, and it's going to have a couple more holes for you to mount this uh, into the truck. Uh, so pre-drilled, everything like that. And Now, this looks really thin, like it wouldn't be, okay, it's not much. This is very, very substantial. Um, it is way stronger than it looks. And it is definitely made out of very, very high quality aluminum. So let's go to the receiver box. So it does come with your antenna tube, mounts here on the side. Now it is a little tight. I took my ball, I took a drill bit and just opened that up just slightly to get that to fit really tight. Uh, so that's the only thing I really had to do. You've got a hole right, you've got a hole in the front for and a hole in the back for your wires to pass through. You can seal this up waterproof if you want with some either some like uh uh, you, know, you can use some shoe goo or something. I'm just going to use a little silicone uh, to seal this up, make this nice and watertight. Uh, you've got a, a couple of holes that pass through from the top all the way to the bottom here for mounting this in your chassis. So if we go ahead and pop the top here, it doesn't just sit there. It actually locks in. So if you can hear it, you know, it, it's, it's lipped in there. It, it's very, very, you know, good. It's a very good seal. Uh, so just a very little bit of uh, waterproofing around the top will make this, uh, you know, very, very good. I've uh, got the WFO logo etched into it. Very, very quality, quality. You can actually see, I hope with the camera we have, you can see, um, I think this is probably 3D printed. You can see where the resin's laid in there. Um, you know, this is uh, this is some quality polymer. This isn't some cheap, chinchy plastic. Um, so very, very nice. Plenty of room for your ESC and all your wires, whatever ESC you want to run. So let's take a look at how this is going to mount. So I've got this old chassis here just to make it a little easier to show you guys how it's going to mount in here. So obviously your factory ESC bolts into two bolts right back here in the back. You've got two, two screws for your cover here for your original wire entrance. Um, and you've got your receiver box, uh, the two bolts that would hold the top on your receiver box. So the way this is going to work is you have your pass-through holes back here in the back. So this is going to sit here. Like that, so that's going to mount way down low, right in front of you, right in front of your motor. Uh, you do have a little bit of room, so if you're running the big 800 kV motors, it's still going to clear. Um, you know, so you're good clearance-wise. Now your ESC plate. Now this is going to mount into the two holes here in the front that your 
original receiver box cover mounted to, and then your bolts are gonna pass through here, go all the way down and actually bolt. So this is gonna bolt through the receiver box into the chassis and bolt that down. This is sitting right on top of that receiver box, which as I said, is very, very substantial. That's gonna give you a really strong platform for your ESC to sit. And then it's also gonna give you bolted in here so that is not going anywhere. You're not gonna get any flex, uh, anything like that. Your ESC is gonna bolt through this into the top of the receiver box cover. And then you're just basically not gonna use your receiver box anymore. Um, you could seal that up if you want to, whatever you want to do, but that's basically how that's going to mount right there with your receiver. And so that's going to mount your ESC nice and low between your chassis rails. So now that you see how it's mounted, let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks mounted in the actual X-Max. Okay, so here is our receiver box mounted in. Now I did put just a small piece of very thin two-sided tape under this just to hold it in place while I put all the wires in and everything like that. Um, but you don't have to do that. I just did it to make my life a little easier. Um, so two bolts here in the front holding this in. Now the plate is what's going to hold this firmly down. It's not moving because I got that little piece of tape in there. But right here, these other two holes here are kind of countersunk. Um, that's going to allow, so when you put the four now, my, my Max 5 didn't come with these screws. I just took a couple of little small, um, I think extra Traxxas screws, really short, maybe about, five, you know, five mil long. Uh, let's see if we can get a look here. You can kind of see under the plate here how I've got it mounted. It's just a couple of little, uh, uh, four little screws. Those are going to allow the heads of those screws to sort of sit down in there so this all sit flush. Then these two bowl, these two holes line up perfectly with the hole in the chassis. You can kind of see back here where the holes go through. Now you can use some shoe goo, you can use some silicone. This is just like some really soft silicone earplug um, that you can kind of push and mold and everything. It'll help seal that up. Uh, I don't run in a lot of water. This is just more of a dust proofing kind of thing. You could really waterproof this if you wanted. Now right here where these wires are coming through, I've got a little bit there and a little bit in these channels here from the factory receiver box to sort of uh, keep everything sealed up and those wires from chafing. Now, you could run your power wire from USC around the side, back end, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can't see it too well, but right here, um, it's kind of under here, but up here in the front, I actually took a rat tail file and actually cut a little groove uh, for my wire to run under and through, and then I wrapped everything up and I'll have a little bit sticking out. Uh, but it's basically, I made a little channel uh, for it to run across through the factory receiver box um, and straight over. I thought that was the cleanest uh, uh, run for my wires. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and get the plate mounted down and we'll have everything secure. Okay, so we got this fully installed. Got the chassis brace sitting in here. I don't have it bolted in, but just to show you all what it's gonna look like. I've got my switch mounted up here. Looks very, very clean. Fits in there nicely. Now, if you had a Max 6, uh, like I was saying before, you know, it'd look even even tidier in there, but the Max 5, way down low. You can imagine, you know, you've seen how high these things set up uh, with the, uh, you know, with the top of the rail mount. Now this way, if I want to take my tower to tower off uh, for anything to work on anything, all I have to do is just pop the switch out. You basically, and not, now this is one thing uh, I wanna show you guys, cause this speaks to uh, WFO's, uh, you know, their quality, their design. So this fits perfectly in the factory location, no, no holes to be drilled. Now I had to push mine on here pretty tight cause where I painted this, you know, obviously. Um, Bolts right in, comes with the hardware. Now the nice thing about this is if you slide this forward, the switch just slides out. Now if you look at the Max 5 switch, you'll see it's got this raised section over here and it's flat on this side. Each side of this corresponds to that. So if you try to put it in the other way, it doesn't really work. There's a lip back here that actually stops it and it's smooth up here in the front. So you basically just lay this in here, slide it back, and it locks itself in perfectly. No tape, nothing. You're not gonna find that on anything else. This is their quality of workmanship and design and attention to detail. Everything is branded. Everything looks great. 
You see the plate down there, got it mounted front and back. I think it looks great. Now my motor wires are obnoxiously long. I've got to get those shortened up. The one thing right here, the uh, uh, the antenna tube, stick and air to side, it's not really in a bind. You could put it the inside, but it bends over. What I might do is, uh, and this is just an aesthetic thing to me, you don't have to do this. What I might do is actually grind or take my rat tail file and actually notch a little knot, you know, put a little notch right here uh, for that to ride in, but it's not, I mean, it's barely touching, so I'm, it probably will just leave it alone. But everything turned out really nice, guys. So if you're going to mount a Max 5, Max 6 into your X-Max, go pick up these three pieces. Like I said, you don't have to get the switch mount, but I, I highly suggest it. Um, but you will need to pick up the uh, motor plate, or I'm sorry, the ESC plate and the uh, the receiver uh, relocator. And it will turn out just perfect uh, for what you guys need. Cool. Go check out WFO. Awesome products and make awesome motor mounts. Awesome Mod 1.5 gear for you guys running bigger motors. Uh, for you guys uh, that are running stock stuff, this is an awesome upgrade to get out of that factory Traxxas ESC. So go check them out, guys. Order up some product. They're great, guys. Check them out on Facebook. They respond to messages really quick. I'll be doing business with them again for sure. Catch you later. Peace.